This is my favorite one. She made that necklace, actually. The pictures of Molly Bish that surround her sister Heather's living room are a constant reminder of the search to find the person who took her away. And, and not any part of it ever gets easier or better or harder or worse. It's just a continued horrific experience. On June 27, 2000, Heather's 16-year-old sister Molly disappeared from her lifeguard post at Commons Pond in Warren. Nearly three years later, her body was found five miles from her home. More than 10 years after Molly was abducted, private investigators believe this might be the person responsible. He liked blonde-haired girls. He had a history of raping girls. He's in jail right now for raping a girl. She's talking about Gerald Battis Stoney, who's currently behind bars in Walpole, serving 10 to 12 years for rape. Former Vermont state trooper and now private investigator Dan Malley has drawn connections, making Battis Stoney a person of interest in Molly's death. The Bish family says Heather's kept the closest contact with investigators. She says Battis Stoney has ties to Palmer and had access to a white sedan similar to the one Molly's mom, Maggie, saw in the pond parking lot the day she disappeared. Like I said, his, his ties to circumstantial evidence, the fact that he raped children, makes him a potential suspect in our case. The Bishes have followed leads before and are still waiting for the day they find justice. As for Heather, the oldest of the Bish children, her fight to find her little sister's killer is just what any big sister would do. I, I um, hold a special kind of guilt in my heart uh, because of what happened to Molly, and, and I will always hold that. And um, because I'm the big sister, maybe, or, or just because I loved her, I feel responsible for finding justice for her.